Welcome to Iron Mag Labs presents MSTV. I am your host, Joe Pietaro, publisher of Muscle Sport Magazine. Right here, 32 bucks a year, free shipping in the United States. Just go to musclesportmag.com slash subscribe. And of course, ironmaglabs.com for our title sponsor. We have not one, but two guests waiting for you today. Via Skype, we'll be joined by IFBB 212 Pro Guy Sister Nino. We're going to talk about his skin condition that made him drop out of the, the uh, New York Pro, and also what the diagnosis is and how he's going to be moving forward. And also, after him, we're going to have Gregory James, publisher of Most Muscular Magazine. I write for it. He's my friend. We used to work at MD together, so we help each other out. So I'm having some fun with Gregory, writing some features for him. And I did write a Guy Sistanino feature, so how perfect, why not put them together on the same episode of MSTV? And that's exactly what we did here today. But also, please subscribe to our Muscle Sport TV YouTube channel. Don't forget, a lot of new programs coming out, especially on Mondays and Thursdays, live on Instagram. We have Muscle Sport Radio and Ask Me Anything MSM style. But that's neither here nor there. We'll be right back after this quick break. With Guy Sisternino. And welcome back to Muscle Sport TV. We're being joined right now by Quadro, IFBB 212 Pro Guy Sistanino. What's going on, guy? What's going on, Joe? Thanks uh, for having me. No problem. Our pleasure, man. So um, you, you did a lot of shows so far this year in 2017, even some open competitions where there was no 212 overseas. Yep. You did a few of those. Um, and then, obviously, the thing at the New York Pro with the skin issue. So... Figure, let's touch base quickly about that. What's the latest on that? Um, I've been having some issues with my skin for the past, like, um, about a year and a half. I, I started getting these, like, black and bluish type blotches, almost like bruises. Um, I had a couple starting in 2000 and, uh, March 2015 at the Arnold's when it actually started. Um, and I started getting a couple here and there. Um, I got a couple biopsies done, went to a couple doctors. They just checked it off to uh, irritation of the skin because it was happening increases of the skin or where my skin rubbed together. Um, but then when I was getting ready for New York, Tuesday night after I trained back, I was actually filming for, uh, for Centurion Labs and Gasp. And um, I, I, my, I, my whole body felt like hot and uh, was like a slight itchiness. And then I woke up Wednesday morning and I was covered. My whole body was red and I had a lot of patches of black and blues. So I trained that day and then drove to White Plains and couldn't fall asleep because I was in so much pain. So I drove myself to um, Greenwich Hospital, which is borders New York. It's Greenwich, Connecticut. Connecticut yeah. I was there from Wednesday night until Thursday afternoon. Um, they gave me a shot of Medrol, which is almost like a liquid prednisone, mm -hmm. and some Benadryl. So that kind of kicked whatever was starting to occur. So I drove to Bev's with Chris Acido Thursday late afternoon. Steve Weinberger looked at me. He was like, you, you still look great. He goes like, you know, besides the blotches, which should be, you know, covered up with the tan, he's like, you'll be, yeah. you'll be spot on. Um, so after, you know, I trained, I wanted to make sure I was okay because I was debating pulling out because, you know, I was, it was pretty bad how the spots looked and I didn't want that to be a distraction on stage and I wasn't feeling a hundred percent, but Steve said I still look good. So that, that made me feel okay. Chris said I look great. Um, Thursday night I slept okay. I think it was because the medication was still in me. Mm -hmm. And then Friday I was starting to feel off again. Um, Chris even said, he's like, you're holding a little film. And I'm like, I don't feel normal. And he was like, I've never seen you even hold a slight film of water. Um, 
So it was like every couple hours I would look good and then I would hold water, look good. And I, my skin was getting worse and worse and worse. And then, um, you know, people, people kept saying, oh, it's the tan, but I need people don't understand. I didn't apply tan until Thursday night. This started right. happening Tuesday. Yeah. So the, the tanning, like pro tan has nothing to do with it. And then when I got to the show Saturday, when I woke up Saturday morning, I was not feeling a hundred percent. Um, even though I looked good in the, like early in the morning, as far as the early afternoon came, I started to not feel well. And then as soon as we were backstage and they started applying the oil, I guess the friction and like the, the skin on skin contact from the hands and being rubbed with the, with the oil, mm -hmm. um, just inflamed my skin to, to none. Cause literally I saw Chris about 20 minutes before I went on stage, maybe not even from the time Chris saw me to the time I got oiled. I went from zero to 60, like just went oh, from shit. looking good to just absolutely, like I, I could actually feel my, my skin getting swollen. So as soon as we did comparisons, I walked right out. Um, there were fans actually trying to take pictures. I was like, oh, I'll be right back. And I, I walked right out um, into uh, the, the parking lot and um, we drove right to the emergency room in New Jersey. And I called Steve and I, I was, you know, I was really upset. Steve called me back. I was really bent out of shape. But, um, it just sucks because I've met in 13, 14 years of being a professional, uh, you know, not professional, but being a bodybuilder. Yeah. And, uh, you know, eight years of being a professional athlete, I've never pulled out of a show. And this was a show that I really wanted to win for the third time. Mm -hmm. um, but I knew something was seriously wrong because it literally, the only way I could describe it, Joe, is, you know, when I described it to the doctors, it felt like the worst case of sunburn I you you can ever imagine, and then somebody pushing you into a scalding hot shower. Oh my God. Like that's the only way I can describe. Yeah. Like it, it hurt so bad I couldn't even put my hands on my hips to hit a lat spread. Like that's how much pain I was physically in. That's so, amazing, man. Um, Shit. It sucks. Terrible. But you know what? I'll give you credit. You had the balls to, and now, like you said, during the week. I mean, Wednesday you're in the fucking hospital overnight. And you do the show four days later, and then you go through prejudging. So I'll give you credit for having the, the guts to do that under the circumstances. And I mean, everybody understood. It was like, holy shit, what happened? And then it was like, you know, once everybody knew the full story, you showed uh, you showed a lot of gumption getting up there. But so I know you've gone through a lot of tests. I mean, I've, I've been speaking to you on and off since right after that weekend, and you've gone through a lot of tests and stuff. So have they fully diagnosed this thing yet, or no? No, um, I mean, you know, the, the, you know, the big, uh, just to touch on what you said about, you know, having the guts to show up, it's kind of a double-edged sword because guys like you who can appreciate and know how hard I work is one thing, but then you have guys, even competitors, I'm not going to go listing off names, <laughs> who uh, thought it was some kind of fucking act or some kind of like oh, Jesus. Um, excuse as to why I didn't come back for the night show or because I, what they, I, I, I knew I wasn't winning, or because of the call outs, I didn't show up uh, for the night show, oh, which is a fucking joke. Because bullshit, um, at the end of the day, uh, those guys that beat me that weekend, I, I don't even call it. I didn't even. I don't. I wouldn't even say. I'm not even going to give them the fucking credit to say they beat me because I got a D and F, which means did not finish. Yeah. yeah. Um, for the, the exact reason was, you know, I didn't pull the. Oh, I got the food poisoning bullshit fucking card that everybody likes to pull. I was legit in the hospital for fucking Wednesday to Thursday and then Saturday through Tuesday. So anybody wants to, you know, any athletes or fans or, you know, professional athletes, families that wanted to run their mouth and think it was some fucking excuse, um, they could all kiss my ass. And they know who I'm fucking referring to. Um, I don't, I would never bash a competitor, um, especially if they were sick. Um, I had a couple, you know, guys getting a little fucking butt hurt because I was saying I was going for a three P and saying that those guys, you know, the competitors doing the show were either newcomers or guys that have never beat me. And they took that to heart. But it's facts. If I'm doing a show where nobody's beat me and I say that it's not, you know, going after anybody or going after any competitor's character. It's the fucking facts. It's just like if Flex Lewis said, guys never beat me. Well, there's a fact. Yeah. He's one of my best friends. <laughs> Am I going to get fucking mad? No, it's a fact. I've never beaten Flex. So I'm not going to get fucking butt hurt like some of these little babies do um, that are athletes that can't take fucking the truth. But truth of the matter is those guys that think they beat me, I'll step on stage any given fucking day of the week. Healthy as fucking destroy them. They won't even be a fucking question. I'm, so I'm dying to hear some, that, I'm dying to hear names though. I, I mean, I could just, um, I can kind of just guess who you're speaking about, but I'm, and you're, you're showing some class by not saying the names, but I'm dying to fucking hear the names, but I, I totally get why you're not, you know, you're trying to take that. I'm, I'm not one to throw names under the bus. Um, I didn't throw, I, I never spoke shit directly about them. Yeah. They wanted to talk shit directly about me. 
um, I'm still going to be the classier individual and not um, Good for you. mention their names because that's not me. I've never really talked shit on a competitor. I never will. Um, but if competitors want to come at me directly, um, don't think when they see me backstage they're going to come up and shake my fucking hand because that's, that's not happening. I don't want you, want you to cross me like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's absolutely fucking disrespectful. So, and it's not like I was off and they beat me. I could take that all day long. But um, don't come at me when I'm in the hospital for fucking four days. I could barely move. And I'm in fucking more, I'm on morphine and diluted every five hours and thinking you're going to run around talking shit and run in your mouth that I'm going to be your fucking friend again. I don't roll like that. No, um, I totally get it. Bro. But based on, so they did two biopsies in the hospital. Um, they didn't know what it was because it was acting like, it, the way it acted it was like a sunburn. But because mm. if the areas turn bright, like pitch black, like in nasty black and blue, and then eventually, after being in the hospital and being on the you know medication and the pain meds, the uh, all the skin literally peeled off. Jeez. Where like all the, where everywhere I was covered, all those spots eventually peeled off like um, a bad case of sunburn. So they did two biopsies from my leg, um, and the fucking right, they actually went really deep. They actually felt like I got shot with a fucking twenty two <laughs> inside of my leg because the rod they used was like this fucking long. Oh, they, they, wow. go into the rod, they, they wanted to get skin. And they wanted to get a tissue Tissues, biopsy. Tissues, yeah. So the biopsies came back negative. They were thinking vasculitis. They were thinking autoimmune because it's very symmetrical. Mm. So wherever I have it on one side of my body, I have it on the other. Um, but the thing, the problem was is that white blood cells, red blood cells, platelets, um, liver enzymes, kidney enzymes were coming back from proof and fucking normal. So they're looking at me like internally – it, we think it looked like all the all the tests are showing you're normal, mm -hmm. but externally on the surface of your skin, something's clearly not right. Um, so since I left the hospital, I've been to uh, an absurd amount of dermatologists. I went to an infectious disease doctor. I got the results back this week. That they, they test me for yellow fever, Stephen Johnson syndrome, a bunch of autoimmune diseases, um, some crazy disease I never even fucking heard of that you catch in like third world countries and shit. <laughs> Um, so fucking all theory or some and, shit. <laughs> very, um, very <laughs> crazy. It's fucking so. Um, I went to a hematologist this week uh, after I got the results from the infectious disease doctor. They pulled a bunch of blood for me again. They're going to do a bunch of panels. And then this following week, I have to go to a rheumatologist. So they're trying to rule out everything, but right now they they honestly can't it's like a fucking bad episode of house man this is what i feel like it's like watching house and like everybody that everybody's fucking doing tests and not figuring out what's yeah. wrong and he's yelling and at all of them the slapping it. sitting here like am i gonna fucking figure this out am i gonna die like i think i figured it out too fucking late so it's it's a little stressful but i'm trying just to not think about it even though you know when i look in the mirror and take my shirt off i can still see the the spots it could uh, almost like stain my skin yeah yeah but i'm just i'm just trying to put one foot in front of the other and just go through each day and just you know kind of you know just battle it out and figure it out what the fuck it is hang on to that thought for a second we're going to take a quick break i want to talk to you a little bit more about what you're going to do the rest of the year we'll be right back after this message with more guys sister nino Welcome back. We're here once again with Guy's sister, Nino. And Guy, I mean, uh, while you were saying that, when guys were questioning you, you know, you fucking, ex you know, they're thinking why your excuse from that. I know you since 2009, since you're a fucking amateur. And you are like the epitome of the warrior bodybuilder, kind of. I know it sounds kind of cliche, but if there was a guy you can put in that fucking mold, 
that's fucking you. So that and we work together at Flex. We work together at MD. We know each other, you know, quite some time. Very long time. And yeah. So I mean, I, I can attest that that is total fucking horseshit. But uh, uh, forget it just, about you know, it. Just it just upsets Joe because you know some of those guys I actually considered friends. I mean, listen, I don't I don't hate anybody. I think hate is a fucking is a very strong word when you're religious and you're you're a Catholic and you're a believer in, in God like I am. And, you go to church, like, you know, you don't really hate anybody. Yeah. Um, I don't even say I was really mad. I was just, I was more disappointed mm-hmm. and upset that people really thought, listen, I've taken first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I, I've taken, you know, I've won shows, lost shows. I've won shows. I probably maybe shouldn't have won. I've lost shows. <laughs> I maybe shouldn't have fucking lost, but yeah, yeah. Um, I take my fucking lumps like a, a man. And, uh, you know, I take my hat off to anybody that, that beats me and I've been never bitching a plane. So to have people that are, you compete against that you, actually thought we're friends and you actually helped out turn around and bash you because uh you know you're in the hospital and, and they talk shit about you it's just, it's just disappointing um, it's not even you know anger it's just more disappointment and uh you know just something that i would never do to a competitor so yeah um i just took it as you know just just utter disrespect so um that being said i'm over it it's done with it's fast you know the the people that did apologize so that was at least um you know uh admirable that they did that so yeah, yeah. Um, i could at least you know hang my hat on the fact that they realized they were fucking wrong and that i wasn't you know bullshitting so um i can at least say that i, I earned a little respect back for the people that did it so they apologize that's cool and um moving forward you know this is obviously this is something you gotta get this thing figured out you gotta get diagnosed treated and stuff so i'm sure this is affecting the rest of your season in 2017 as well right yeah, um, I debated it, but, but, you know, what's the point? I didn't win a show this year. I'm not one of those guys that qualifies on fucking points. I hate doing that shit. <laughs> um, it's just, I, I'm the type of guy where my mentality is if I don't, and listen, people will, will disagree with me, but um, I'm the type of guy where if I don't, if I don't, if I'm not good enough to win a show throughout the year, then I'm not good enough to go to the Olympia. Even though they give out point systems, some guys maybe, you know, will never win a show, and that's the only way they can make it there. Mm-hmm. Me, on the other hand, I've been to the Olympia for six years in a row, I haven't had an off season since 2010. And, you know, I'm, my bodily issues is either one or two things, something they haven't figured out internally yet or, or, or externally, meaning something from the environment that's touching my skin or two, it could be just the fact that my body's overly stressed and I'm burning the candle from both ends. Um, you know, I, I travel nonstop. I'm a, I'm sponsored by, Centurion Labs, I'm sponsored by GAT, mm-hmm. um, Atomics. I mean, I do appearances everywhere and anywhere. Yeah. Um, along with competing multiple times a year, I haven't given my body a fucking break. So um, I'm starting to think it might even be not mentally but physically stress-related because of how hard I train. I'm not one to sit here and you know talk shit, but I don't think there's a lot of athletes that train with the intensity and uh, how hard I train from start to finish. I mean, I train as heavy and as hard as I can day one to day 360 fucking five. So, um, you know, I can't justify competing the rest of the year when A, they haven't figured out what's wrong with me, and B, I haven't won a show. So I think the only way to actually improve for once is to take an off season, do a show late next year, and then Olympia and just smoke everybody. There you go. I mean, that's, you definitely, you're out there and out and about. Like you said, you compete all over the fucking place. You compete overseas, which that's taxing on your fucking body as it is with the flights and the time changes. And you do a lot of appearances. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's probably best that you take some time. Obviously, the most important thing is get this fucking thing figured out and get it treated and get it out of there. And you know you'll be fucking back, ready to go in 18, bro. They, I'll have to be fucking six feet in the, in the ground before they pick up. <laughs> Definitely, man. Hey, uh, I just want to give let it get some plugs out there. You want to give your site, your social media. You're great on Instagram. You do a lot of good Instagram live shit, so that's really cool. Yeah, um, I'm, my my Instagram and uh, Twitter is and Snapchat, which I don't really fucking follow anymore. I thought that was like one of those like little dick pic fucking apps <laughs> that I ever downloaded, it. and then Flex Lewis like begged me to fucking download it, and it was cool. And now like Instagram took over, so yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Instagram, Twitter is is at Guy Cicerino. Um, my Facebook fan page is IBB Pro Guy Cicerino Jr. Um, I want to give obviously my my uh, sponsors. I, yeah. I do a ton a ton for um, Centurion Labs. You know, for anybody that doesn't know, I left BSN 
VSN didn't let me go. Let's clear that too, because that was a fucking uh, a talk <laughs> back when I walked away. I had eight months left in my contract with VSN, but I had a better opportunity to grow um, with Dr. Nick Puccio and Dr. Joe Kepko with Centurion Labs. So we're in year three, and we're, this is the third year we're in. We've moved three times already. We're in our third warehouse. That's how big we're getting. Good. Um, we're in over 12 countries, and uh, we're doing amazing. Uh, I, I, I'm blessed. So I want to give a shout out to Centurion Labs. I also want to thank the people individually that help with Centurion Labs. That's Dr. Nick, Dr. Joe Kepko, um, Keith Longnecker, Adam Capuano, um, Dylan, who's uh, one of the guys that helps out in the warehouse. Chelsea's our new one of our new sales um, sales reps. So um, that's how small our team is. Mm-hmm. So um, we're we're killing it. We're fucking you know we're having fun doing it. And uh, you know, I want to thank them. I also want to thank Gas um, for anybody that doesn't know. Um, I just released a collab hoodie with Gas, 1,300 pieces, and uh, within less than 24 hours, I think they sold 1,100. Wow, um, awesome. So make sure to check out GasBB.com for my new uh, Hood on World Off hoodie. So thanks to Gas, Michael Johansson, um, Greg McCoy. I appreciate everything you guys do. Um, I also want to give a huge shout-out to Atomics, Mitch. Um, Mitch brought me on. Thanks to Jay Cutler. Jay got me in contact with Mitch. <laughs> um, so Mitch, thanks uh, for everything. Steve Cardillo, I'm not like considered an athlete, you know, but um, you know, Steve always hooks me up with my belt and he's yeah. a fucking man, and uh, I, I, you know, his loyalty is, is bar none, awesome. Um, I also just saw and, and Pro Tan, I've been with for uh, performing brand subs since 2007. Uh, I'm just giving out people who just helped me along the way because I don't think uh, athletes really give recognition to, to everybody. Um, CJ. Um, elite, uh, she does my suits. She's the only person mm-hmm. who I've ever allowed to put, put suits on my, uh, on my body for, for shows. I also want to give a huge, huge shout out to NutriChef NYC. They're my food prep company. I've been with them for over two years. It's not like one of those fucking bullshit, you know, food companies where these guys took out their fucking mom's kitchen and buy <laughs> some fucking chicken. This guy is like a real deal, studied Italian and French cuisine. Like, he's an actual chef. He knows how to fucking run a business. So AJ and his father are thanks to you guys as well. Um, and I just, I, I, this, will, this is coming out later on. This will probably be announced. Um, but I'll probably announce it on my, uh, Instagram before, but I did just, um, link up with, I, I don't really know the terms yet with Sinister Labs, which is oh, like, cool. this and Scott James is coming yeah. out. Scott James, for everyone doesn't know, Scott James is the original owner, one of the original owners of two, uh, BSN. Scott James was the man who actually brought me on and had the final say to bring me on BSN. But when he left, uh, BSN really changed, and he started a company with Flex Lewis called Sinister Labs. It's a caffeinated, decaffeinated uh, peanut butter uh, spread. They got um, uh, the powder peanut butters are coming out with a bunch of different uh, food um, supplements as well. So uh, me and Scott and Flex and uh, this one of the sales directors, Andy Piero, who used to be my old boss over at BSN, we kind of talked, and they're like, why aren't you with the fucking team? And I'm like, you tell me. So Scott was like, we're sending you a care package out. We're going to work something out. So um, by the time this comes out, I'll also be a member of Sin- uh, Sinister Labs, right. which is pretty badass. So, uh, you know, I've known those guys for years. Flex is one of my best friends. I was in his wedding. Scott James pretty much helped launch my career as far as sponsorship uh, originally. And um, he's one of the people actually, you know, I know this. you wanted seven to ten minutes, but I could fucking No, don't worry about it, bro. Good. No. Um, <laughs> Scott James is one of the people that uh, I actually tried to shadow and live my career off of. Because Scott James, who was the original starter of BSN, um, you know, we when we when I first started with BSN, we had a lot of in-depth conversations, and that dude was a fucking hustler. I mean, he started slinging product from a fucking trunk of a car, <laughs> and he went from that to uh, you know developing one of the biggest brands in uh, you know pretty much the fitness industry and. When I had the opportunity to do that with Centurion Labs, I, you know, my, my, my parents were even like, I don't know, it's a risk. And I was like, you know what, Scott James took a fucking risk, you know, back in 2001 when he started BSN. So, you know, I was in my early 30s back then. So I was like, if I'm going to take a fucking risk, like now's the time to do it. And the risk paid off and Centurion Labs blew up. And, you know, I actually thanked Scott for that the other day when we talked. I said, if it wasn't for the talks I had with him, I probably wouldn't have jumped ship and joined with Centurion Labs. But, you know, I took a fucking leap of faith and, yeah. uh, we're, we're fucking killing it. So, again, thanks to all my sponsors. Um, without you guys, I don't know where I'd be. I am very blessed and um, thankful to have all you guys in my corner. Thanks to Muscle Support Mag. 
and uh, Joe and the team for having me on. You guys are fucking awesome. I appreciate it. Definitely. I enjoy working with them. And GuySistanino.com, where you can get the Quadro uh, apparel, yes, right? all my gear is out. I got e-books. I, got, um, I do online coaching. I do everything. So GuySistanino.com. It's funny. I just gave everybody fucking shout-outs. You didn't give stuff. your own. Yeah. And all your social <laughs> That's media. That's how fucking selfless I am. That's, there you go. That's why everybody loves you, bro. That's uh, Your social media links are on there as well. So. Yep. Guy, thank you so much for joining us on Muscle Sport TV. It's always a pleasure, and I will see you soon. Feel better, and let's get this fucking skin thing worked out, man. You got it, brother. I appreciate the time, Joe. Anytime. We'll be right back after this quick break. There's a good reason why Hot Stuff has been around for over a quarter century. Yes, that same company you know and love from way back when is better than ever and never went away. Check out their huge can. Banana flavor is my personal favorite. That was the original flavor. And this stuff not only tastes good, it mixes well. Back then you had mud lumps and sandy tasting, just disgusting fitness and bodybuilding drinks. But Hot Stuff was one of a kind and still is. Promotes quick gains and lean muscle mass. Blast strength levels up from 15 to 25%. Melt away intermuscle body fat. Dramatically reduce post-workout muscle soreness. And you provide a long-lasting muscle pump. Go to HotStuffNutritionals.com. This is a great product. I've been using this stuff as long as I can remember. And I've been a big fan of it since day one. And if you guys have never taken hot stuff, then you do not know what you're missing. Go to hotstuffnutritionals.com right now and order your can. What's going on, everybody? That's right. It's your boy, the seven foot, three hundred and thirty pound former WWE superstar, former TNA champion, the Blueprint, Matt Morgan, former American Gladiator, the Beast, and I'm pretty positive that covers all my gimmick and pseudo names. But nonetheless, guys, you're tuning in right now to Muscle Sport TV, the realest of the real. No filler, no fluff, no cookie cutter crap. No has to have a happy ending in order for us to produce this show. None of that mess. Instead, what you're about to tune into is shows that are going to make a lot of athletes nervous out there, a lot of athletes butt hurt out there, and a lot of athletes really pissed off. But guess what? I don't give a shit. It's about to be a bumpy ride. I suggest you buckle up. <sighs> And welcome back to MSTV. We are being joined right now via Skype by Mr. Gregory James, owner, publisher, president, whatever else, of Most Muscular Mag. <laughs> MostMuscularMag.com is the site, Gregory, correct? That's it. Yes, sir. Or mag or magazine, whatever you want to go. Either one. It goes to the same place. But you and I have a good history together. We worked together at Muscular Development Magazine. Sure. We did a lot of cool stuff. We did a lot of road trips, a lot of photo shoots together. Um, and both of us are, obviously, you quit. I got fired. We both left the, the uh, old company. <laughs> and I had my own magazine. But I remember when you first left, you called me and said, I'm out. I'm starting my own thing. And I want to fucking do shit with you together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And I was like, oh, this is fucking great. I loved it. And I was like, count me in, bro. I want to be in. And I've been in. I've done some stories for you. I'm fucking love writing for your magazine. But you don't just have one. So before we no, just... we have another one as well. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Plug all, plug all of them. We'll get back into Most Muscular then. Well, the other one we have is Digital Curves Magazine. So it's basically a revival from American Curves. Yep. And they went, when uh, I was working for Robert Kennedy, when we were doing that one there, and when his unfortunate passing, um, all the, obviously all the magazines went down. So yes. what we basically did, I was like, okay, I love American Curves. I love that name. I didn't really didn't want to rip off that name, but it was just such a perfect name. So then I'm thinking, why would my wife was like, she goes, why don't we just call it digital? It's going to be a digital magazine, digital yep. curves. I'm like, hey, that's great. Let's do that. <laughs> so 
we keep it close to the same thing because it's a revival. It's all the same people doing it. And um, it's a great magazine. It's all, if you want sexy girls and booty and booby, it's it's perfect. You know? <laughs> but we try not to keep it quite like the old American Curve used to be with the raunchiness. You know, it's yeah. girls. We don't need to be raunchy to have girls. They're hot. So that's all you really need. That's what we're doing. You yes. Know? Now, obviously, so, you talked. Uh, you talked. You say mentioned Robert Kennedy. That was from the old Muscle Mag International days. You worked for Robert for many years. Yes. Shot all of his stuff and his line of magazines. I always was a big fan of them. Obviously, American Curves for obvious reasons. But I loved Muscle Mag. Um, you know, so he always had some great stuff going on up there. And you were the guy with all of those images. So to have yes. a guy like you running your own thing now. <laughs> Now, obviously, it's very, and you, we've had many conversations on the oh phone. God, here we uh, go. How the fuck do you do this, right? How do you do this shit, proofreading and putting pages together? And I kind of talked you off the ledge. <laughs> I said, don't worry, it's, oh, it gets oh, better. Yeah. I, I'll be honest with you. You know what? It's, when I was working with Bob, I was his chief photographer for all his magazines and his book series. So we didn't just shoot muscle. We shot girls. We shot products. We shot yeah. food. We shot everything. So yep. I got a good verse that way. So I'm a photographer at first. That's what I do. I'm a photographer. And when I shut when I, when when they went down, uh, my wife was pregnant, and it's like okay. So what, then then I got the job with um with MD, and that's where you and me met, right? Yep. And then when that unfortunate thing happened with those guys, like you said, my wife and I are thinking, why don't we just start a magazine? I supplied all the top magazines. Why don't I just start it? Yep. And um, I'm like. At first, I was, you know, white wife and I back and forth. I'm like, what the hell? Let's just do this. So then I was like, well, shit, I know nothing, nothing <laughs> about publication. I know enough because I've been around. Yeah. And I, and, but when it comes to actually like the certain guidelines, which you helped me 110%, which pulled my hair off. My gray pleasure. Hair now, it was <laughs> It's like, Joe, shit, um, <laughs> give me a hand. I know how to put the pictorials together. I know how to do certain things like this. What? But I don't. I contacted a lot of people in the industry that I've worked with in the past, and everybody's making it so complicated. They're just to the point where it's like, um, Greg, do you have a, um, a business plan? Do you have this? Do you have that? And I'm like, business plan? I'm not going after money. I'm not doing this. It's, it's a magazine for God's sakes. Yes, you have to have a certain formula. Well, I've been in the industry for over 15 years shooting photography over 20. I kind of got, got the idea, and I kind of know exactly where I want to go to. And um, so I had my vision, but all the small stuff in there, I tell you, dude, you helped me on 100%. Because <laughs> some of that shit, you know what? The magazine wouldn't be where it's at right now. It probably wouldn't even be up right now. It would be up, but it wouldn't be the same kind of quality. I wouldn't know what the hell to do. <laughs> it's like some stuff is like, oh, no, no, no. You know what I mean? And then with um, Stephen, my art director, he helped me out. I got a really good yep. crew now. My wife, she's doing all of the... Uh, She's doing all the um, um, edit, and she's doing all that stuff, and uh, everything that I don't do when it comes to edit, I just take care of the pictorials and the design, and I do some of the edits, and I make sure that's okay, and make sure it's done right, but, dude, it's, it's a different <laughs> ballgame, man. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, okay, yeah. You started in advertisers. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's another, hold up, but at least you got Jess helping you doing the edit and stuff like that. I do all of that shit on my own, so. <laughs> dude, I give you credit, but see. If you do that, but you don't take a photo, so... That's true. I can't take a picture for my life. <laughs> yeah, so basically, we're, we're, we're kind of reversed. You do all that stuff there, and then I do all the photos. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's why you and me are such a good team, because we bounce back each off each I other. I can do the words, you and, do the pictures. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I've had a lot of people all say, why are you advertising muscle sport? Why are you advertising this in your magazine? And I'm going, what are you talking about? It's a friend of mine. It's a totally separate type of magazine. Yep. Bodybuilding, bodybuilding. It's not like there's enough, not enough fans out there that aren't going to be like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? It's like, give me a break. We're not like everybody else that are like hanging and going back and forth with each other. No, man. Yeah. It's like, your magazine's awesome. And our magazine is awesome. You. It's just yes. it's a totally different type of magazine. Like, I, what, what, what I call your magazine? Yours, yours is like the dark side of bodybuilding. It's like, <laughs> brunch, you just that whole... People you would never see in a mainstream bodybuilding magazine are yes. actually getting their play from you, which is amazing because they're all athletes. Everybody's athletes, you know? Yep. Yeah. So that's what we're out for. We're out to actually cater to the athletes and the fans. You know what I mean? And that, with you and I together, man, we, we cover everything. No one can touch us. That's the way I look at it. That's anyways, true. You know? and, and that's why yeah. I, I love writing for your magazine and I appreciate you do good plugs for my magazine in your own magazine. 
and most muscular, it's digital now. You know, you we you and I have talked about the pros and cons of doing possible print, but that's not the end thing you have to worry about now. You want to just get yourself going, but you have a lot of issues out already of this magazine, right? How many right now do you have of most muscular out? Because you're monthly. Yeah, uh, we have three out right now. We're, we're kind of monthly and bi monthly. It's kind of weird. During downtime, we're bi monthly. And then next month now we're going to go be monthly. We're going monthly right until um, right until the new year, and then we go bi monthly again until the summertime again. And then when it when it picks up again, then we go monthly. You know, okay. so we have three out right now. The fourth one is, good, is actually getting done right now, so um, it's actually pretty well finished. And uh, from there, it's just you know, hopefully we can go monthly all the time. I would love to go print. You know, it's just. We're so brand new. Everybody has to see us. Everybody has to trust yep. us. You know, it all comes down to a dollar and cents. And if we can actually, you know, make it reasonable to go out monthly, I would love to go sure. monthly. But it's month. People don't understand out there when it comes to being print. Like you're print, so you don't understand all that stuff. But you gotta have. You want to hit all the major stores. It's like a fifty thousand dollar bill every month just it's, to go print. It's crazy. Ninety percent of the time, you don't make your money back. It's just you clear. You know, if you're lucky. So it's, <laughs> if you're lucky, you're clear. You know, yeah, you're, I, you're clear. But you got to remember, I started my my digital version in '09. I didn't stop printing until the end of 2012. So it was a good three yeah. years that I was just doing digital until I had the opportunity to print. So you, you got plenty of time moving forward. But talking about the issue that you're putting together now, I'm pretty excited because also on this same episode that this interview that's going to be airing is okay. Guy Sister Nino's interview. And yes, I wrote sir. a piece on Guy for your magazine, and I know Guy a long time. We go way back, and it was really, I, I love when you said, you want to do Guy? Fuck yeah. But I, I couldn't say yes fast enough, because he is just a, an easy guy to interview. And I've had some good ones with you. I did Kuklo's interview. I did Justin yep, Compton's yep. interview. I did Nicole sure. Wilkins' interview for you. So I've had some, you've given me some cherries, bro. <laughs> you do all the cover features right now. And so if you think about it, I can't really say guy might be the cover, most ninety percent for sure, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> you know, Still but, in production, yeah. But Yeah, yeah. I never say hundred percent until, you know, where we actually go, okay, we close out that, that issue. We always have a couple people, you know? Yeah. But um I, you get all the cover features, man. Like we have some really good writers for us, Frank and and yourself yep. and a bunch of other people that write for us are, are amazing. We have a great solid team. I I can't be more happy enough, you know, but it's the stuff you have written is amazing. Like the first one you did was um, with um, with uh, Kuklo, right? Yeah, you did Kuklo, Kuklo and that, Compton. That was yeah. our first breakout issue. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Steve so was great. <laughs> all of the guys that you have had me do work with, as far as the subject of your articles, have been you know just great guys, and um, I love doing that type of stuff. I like doing mainstream bodybuilding stories still as far as a journalism goes because like you said my magazine's a little different it's edgier it's kind of it comes from a different you know different angle when i'm doing stuff for you it's kind of what i did for flex and md so i kind of it brings back a little bit of what i did earlier and i like doing yeah. that sometimes it's it's i like writing it straightforward sometimes and like it kind of helps me as a writer because i don't want to lose those chops you know <laughs> Well, you're far from losing those chops. And when you give the animals, like, I have done a lot of this stuff. I've like, lost my chops. I'm reading, reading, going, hell no, man. This is beautiful. Okay. It's, like, it's so easy. Thank you. Everybody else needs a little bit of editing here and there. You know, that's exactly like with photos. You always need a little bit of editing. But dude, yeah. your stuff, you read, it's like, all right, good. I get your stuff, and I'm not even worried about it. Because sometimes, you know, you know <laughs> maybe all the horror stories you've told me. And I'm, I'm like, or nah, I can't get that. Pro I get all the same problems you have. It's like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? You get that but one you feature that just kind of just... It doesn't go right. Feature but, from hell. But, Every issue has it. Every issue has it. But you've persevered. Yes. You're doing. You, you you've gotten it off the springboard. You're off the fucking ground and running with the magazines, with both with digital curves and with most muscular mag. And also, where can they find? I know they can go to most muscular mag or magazine dot com. But where can they find it? Which um, uh, software companies? Which places? Platforms have that digital version? Um, everywhere. You can go. Um, we just actually got on Amazon. Um, a couple days ago, I think we just waiting for approval of the magazines. Now we're on Amazon as well. Magster um, is also every, basically every platform out there now, um, except for Zinio. We were going to go on Zinio, but they want to charge me three, four hundred bucks a month just to be on Zinio. And ah. basically, they're no, they're on the exact same platforms as Magster. There's no difference. Magster's so, fine, bro. Yeah, I love Magster. So Magster, you yeah. go there, get our get our all, all platforms. You can go um, 
digital curves. Um, most logically, you get that. They're there. And also, we're also on Apple as well. So nice. Apple, just go there and just whatever. Punch your names in. You can find us. We're there. You're all over the place, bro. And I'm fucking honored and proud to be working with you. And I'm fucking happy to call you a friend and a colleague. And a fellow yeah. publisher. <laughs> <laughs> fellow yeah. publisher. I still don't call myself a publisher yet. You, know, you are. I'm a photographer, man. That's all I do. I take pictures. That's that's what I do. You know what I mean? So I hear it's you. Like, and you do it. I guess, but it's... You do I always it. see myself as a photographer. You take pictures and you shoot them very well. But we're running out of time. I'm going to let you go, bro. We got to go to a break. Gregory James, make sure you check out Most Muscular Mag or Magazine.com and DigitalCurves.com. Dude, I will talk to you soon. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Later. Take care. We'll be right back after this quick break. It's Jay Cutler, four-time Mr. Olympia here. I want to send a big thank you to yourself and your company, Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition, for the support of Cutler Nutrition. What's up, everyone? This is Rich Piano. I just want to let you guys know you can get all my supplements at Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition. At Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition. Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition. I will see you there. God damn it. Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition. The Hulk will be rah, 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 you. Store is freaking awesome, man. Pumped up fitness and nutrition. God damn it. Come here, get all your 5% needs. You know, everything's fully in stock at all times here. It's 100% in stock. This store is fucking awesome. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Where else? Make sure you check out our buddies over at Pro Supplements. It's your one-stop shop for all your domestic SARMs, peptides, and anabolic needs. Info and product list available upon request. Make sure you check these guys out. All of their products have been tested for high quality and purity. Shoot them an email right now with ProAAS at ProtonMail, P-R-O-T-O-N, mail.com or ProAAS at Tutanoa, T-U-T-A-N-O-T-A.com. Make sure you tell them you heard it here first on MSTV. This is Dr. Tony Huge of EnhancedAthlete.com, and you're watching Muscle Sport TV. Thanks so much to our guests who joined us today on MSTV, Guy Sistanino and Gregory James. Of course, you got to check them out at GuySistanino.com. You get all your quadro apparel and most muscular mag. Dot com for Gregory's digital magazine and all his other titles, too, that we spoke about. Thanks so much, guys, for joining us today on MSTV. And, of course, thank you to our title sponsor, Iron Mag Labs. Go to ironmaglabs.com right now. Place your order. The best supplement company out there on the market. MuscleSportMag.com slash subscribe to get the magazine. And we will see you next time on MSTV.